father matriculated me in the National Music School, Mozambique, to take a, a course, and just normal basic course in classical music. And I started with piano. I joined the, the woodwind section in the same school when I was about 13 years old. I started to play clarinet first and then I uh, started to play saxophone two years after. I find with saxophone a, a, a better tool to express these melodies that I actually write on, on piano. Uh, at the time that I started going to school, a year after I started going to music school. So the same, the same way I was learning about mathematics, one plus one is, is equal to two, I was learning about the, the basic theory of music at the same time. So it kind of felt natural to just be, become a, a musician. Within the form, okay? Let's go from here. Last, last of my song. Okay. okay. I came with a concept for this album, which is African African music behind in the background with using jazz elements. Get inspired by playing with a particular type of musician. I get inspired by playing with all these guys in my band, where they come from completely different background. One comes from Brazil, another from Mali, another from United States. And still, I want to express the music that I've, uh, I've written. So it's like sharing both ways. I share with them and they share with me. They inspire me every time I go on stage to play with these guys. There's never been a Mozambican uh, fusing uh, his music with Scandinavian music. There's never been that. But there's been interaction between uh, Scandinavian or Norwegian with African musicians for, for quite a while. He knows what he wants, uh, which is a great quality because working in a band where the leader really knows what he wants. He's composed everything, he knows where everything goes, you know. Um, it makes you do better. Like this. <laughs> you don't need me. I don't need. <laughs> no drums. <laughs> Tell me about Ivan's music. What defines it? Well, um, I suppose everybody who listened to it, and maybe every musician who played with him has a different angle. But for me, two words come to mind, uh, sweet and Africa, you know? It's, uh, you know, he, he, he obviously he's in the school of jazz and everything, but the foundation of Africa is, is intact and complete in, in that sense. I mean, I guess like I mentioned before, I know him through a bass player, a friend of mine, Childo Tomas, also from Mozambique. So the energy was already there, man. I know, I, Ivan, you're gonna love him. You know, he's in Oslo, you're in Stockholm. One day you're gonna play. So it came to pass, you know. And for me, is another spirit in the, already in the circle, even before we met, you know, this vibe. <laughs> I like to play this music. How do you feel when you're playing it? What's that? Oh, I'm feeling home. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> many parts of uh, on his music. It's uh, remind me to be home. It's not only to be, I'm from Mali, but it's not uh, to be in Mali, but to Africa. One of the, the treasures in the music, uh, in the, in the music uh, uh, scene in Mozambique is actually the traditional, traditional Mozambican music. Because from the tradition, one, uh, one can create a lot more than, than can expect. It can create new, 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 new form, forms of expression.